What's up, Gemini? How's it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So for the weeklies, I don't focus specifically on singles or couples. We just see what wants to come out. Um, monthlies and mid-monthlies are separated if you want to go check those out as well. If you are on other social media, feel free to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. At the end of the weeklies, I answer a yes or no question for you guys as well. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have for me so that I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. All right. All right. Here we go. Gemini, what's up? What's up? priestess nice seven of pentacles two of pentacles the empress five of swords and the four of wands okay so you are coming in in this high priestess energy this week gemini um so your intuition is on point trying to talk to you trying to tell you some things here Maybe keeping some secrets, keeping some things to yourself. What's this high priestess about for Gemini? Oh, shit, and it's on the floor. Hold on, guys. Oh, my goodness, if I could get it. Oh, boy. Death. <laughs> Scorpio. Maybe if Scorpio in your chart, maybe you're dealing with one, but um, you, are, you are going through a major transformation, a major ending here. If it's not ending a relationship, then you're definitely transforming something in your life. And with the High Priestess, it's kind of like a spiritual transformation. The Five of Wands. Putting an end to the drama. Whatever that means for you, if it's ending a whole relationship or just removing yourself from some kind of drama here. Let's see. What's this Five of Wands for Gemini? What is this drama? It can be some competition, some jealousy. What's this Five of Wands? Can be arguing with a Scorpio. What's this Five of Wands here? The three of wands reversed. All right, so arguing about how your future is going to go. If you're in a connection, it's like you guys don't, um, you didn't really see a future in something here. Maybe you guys live far apart and nobody was willing to move to the other one or something, but it's, there was too much drama. You didn't see a future. You didn't see anything happening. And the Four of Wands reversed, yeah. Um, definite breakup energy, y'all, definitely. Um, this is my 1111 card, but it is reversed. It's my marriage card, but it's reversed. So it can be that like there was an issue with living together or there was an issue with taking it to the next level. Definitely stability issues here. All right, uh, recent past is Seven of Pentacles. So there was a time where, you know, you were investing in this connection, or they were, whoever, whatever. Um, now in the present, you're at the Two of Pentacles. So this is like weighing your options. You were the other person, weighing your options. Can be juggling two different people here. I don't think it's a cheating thing, if that's the case. Um, trying to just keep everything in your life in balance. What's this Two of Pentacles for Gemini? Hermit, Virgo, hiding out, hiding out, weighing your options, closing yourself off until you do so. It's, you know, going within, trying to process. Your intuition's really speaking to you, so you're really like taking the time to listen. And the King of Swords, that's you being your whole air self here. 
being really head over heart, um, really no bullshit, cutting anything out of your life that is drama, you're not going to deal with it. Um, it's having adult conversations, having difficult conversations. It's being a little cold, a little detached. Temperance reverse Sagittarius. All right, so there's a need to like regain your balance, your inner harmony. Um, there's a need for patience to kind of like calm down. And I think that's why you're, you know, pulling back right now. Um, being really like mm, detached, kind of taking yourself out of a situation so that you can like get yourself back together here. And now in the future, we have the Empress. So Libra, Taurus, Divine Feminine. So, um, oh, my cat is about to pull down the curtain. Pluto, come on, buddy. Um, anyway, Divine Feminine. This is about grounding. It's about growth. Fertility obviously can be physical fertility, but I don't see anything else here to suggest that. Um, but just something to be aware of. Let's get one on this Empress. Judgment. There can be a reconciliation because of a pregnancy. This is like something coming up to be reevaluated that you thought was done. Likely the thing that you're ending or trying to end right now, it, there's, it's going to come back up here in the immediate future for you to make like one final decision on it and the Ten of Swords. And the decision is going to be to end something here. Um, this is a painful ending, but it is final and... Um, Definitely can be somebody deciding whether or not uh, to stay pregnant if they are. Interesting. It can also be just, just kind of deciding like there's no growth in this situation so I really need to just end it now and be done with it like for good. All right, and your potential obstacle is the five of swords. It's that drama, it's that trash talking, you know, it, having these arguments where you guys don't even talk to each other like adults anymore and you're kind of like putting an end to that you're like you gonna speak to me with some fucking respect or you're not gonna speak to me at all all right what's this five of swords if somebody feels like defeated the ace of wands oh boy it can be fights over something sexual Page of Pentacles. It can be arguing over whether or not, you know, it's just sex or if it's an actual commitment. And the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's, um, somebody's not being real honest about what they wanted out of this, really. There's a lack of clarity and it seems like Again, it just seems like somebody either blocks somebody or just doesn't know how to talk to the other person. Now, your advice, though, is the Four of Wands, which you have reversed in your own energy. So it's upright in your advice. So it's still 11-11, still soulmate shit. It's kind of like, you know, maybe this didn't work out here, this whole happy family, happy home, marriage, whatever. But it's about holding that vision. That's what you want. Um, so don't settle for anything less than that. Okay, let's get another one on that Four of Wands. Two of Swords. Indecision. Um, somebody might be wanting you to move in with them or get married and you're like real undecided, like you're real stuck. That's too many. Let's get one more here, Gemini. Three of Pentacles. It's about building together. So when making your decision, make sure that like, you know, whoever you're dealing with, they, they do want to build with you. Like you guys make a good team. It's not just like one-sided. You guys want the same things. Um, this can have to do with a coworker too, if you have something going on with a coworker. All right, I'm gonna grab you an Oracle real quick, guys. Gemini. 
Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Gemini? Oscar Wilde, aww. I can resist everything except temptation. Uh, but that can be a thing here with having the Ace of Wands as an obstacle. Somebody might have hooked up with somebody else. Hearts are made to be broken. True friends stab you in the front. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's see if I have any other messages here for you before we get your yes or no. What else does Gemini need to hear this week in their love life? What does Gemini need to hear? Any more messages for Gemini? Ten of summer, an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. It's funny because we've got that whole, you know, kid thing happening here, potentially with the four of wands and it being like a whole family unit. Queen of Summer, loving, comforting, emotional, intuitive. You are so intuitive right now, Gemini. Listen to your heart. Intuitive insights you can trust. Taking care of others, perhaps too much. All right. All right, let's get your yes or no. Are you ready, Gemini? Are you ready? Are you? All right, guys, here we go. Gemini, yes or no for my Gemini friends. Take a deep breath, focus on your question. Yes or no, Gemini. Yes or no, guys? Yes or no? Whew. Karma reverse. That's a no. I hope you guys wanted it to be. You guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me.